Hello Dipsites and wonderful teachers of TPS Greater Faridabad. On behalf of Yamuna House, led ably by Mrs. Gunjan Gupta, House Warden, and Mrs. Surbi Grover, Deputy House Warden, and in leadership, Captain Manomay Jain and Vice Captain Saburi Mehta. Chenab House, led ably by Mrs. Anju Singh as House Warden and Mrs. Bhavna Kapoor as Deputy House Warden, Captain Tanishka Awasti and Vice Captain Kamnaja. On behalf of this team of Chenab House and Yamuna House and all the members of these respective houses, I greet you with great enthusiasm and joy on the occasion of Diwali. Happy, happy and blessed Diwali to each one of you. And when we talk of Diwali, you know, all of us, no matter where we are, we start smiling. Because this is one festival that is synonymous with joy of the heart and beauty of the world all around us like no other. It's a festival we wait for. It's a festival that resonates with us because we have grown up loving it, celebrating it right from our childhood. And it is something that as a family and as, as a school, all of us place in great reverence. So my dear school family, what does Diwali mean to you? It's a meaning that you need to search for yourself beyond the religious festivities and cultural significance that this festival carries. And the beauty of being Indians is that this festival has so many different meanings for all of us spread across this amazing country of diversity. Of course, in North India, we all revel in the arrival of Lord Rama back to Ayodhya after 14 years. And all of us know the Ramayana. So we know the travails that Lord Rama, Ma Sita, Lakshman, Hanumanji, and all these legendary figures of such eminence to us, what they went through and the lessons of life that they have brought to us, which are relevant even to this day. In addition to that, in Punjab, it's the Bandi Chor Divas, where Guru Har Gobind Singh was released on this day from the prison fort of Gwalior, where he had been imprisoned by Emperor Jahangir. And along with him, holding his 52 Kali Chola, 52 princes walked out of this jail. So it was an event that was hailed with great joy in the entire region of uh, North India, especially Punjab. Now, if you go down to the south a little bit, you know, it becomes very interesting as a day on which the entire community of South India celebrates the Naraka Chaturdisha. That is the day on which the demon Narakasura was brought to his heel by Goddess Kali and Lord Krishna. You move towards Bengal and then it becomes the day on which the demon Bakasura was brought to his feet by Goddess Kali. And of course Goddess Kali was on, in, on this particular occasion an avatar of uh, Ma Parvati. I mean, the, 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 our, our religious mythology, our religious beliefs, all of them, though they are diverse, they all uphold the fact that this is the day on which good triumphed over evil 
truth prevailed over all falsehood and that's a message which is unlikely to go out of significance you know and we would do well to hang on to it because every day no matter who we are students teachers members of the school family members of the home family all of us come in front of situations which require us to be bold and truthful which require us to uphold right knowledge over ignorance which require us to uphold justice over injustice which require us to uphold sacrifice over selfishness there are so many so many beautiful lessons of life which we can learn from this festival of diwali but you know diwali has evolved over a period of time and it is one festival which comes with a strong sense of responsibility towards the environment in which we live so i hope you will as very very progressive dipsides uphold a diwali which is pollution free which is giving rich not so much receiving rich where you are thinking about what is it that you have that you can share with somebody else and thereby create joy it's not about the clothes that you receive but it is about the clothes which are folded in your cupboard you are not using them can they go somewhere and the same goes with your books with your toys with anything of value that you possess which you are not actively using can you turn it instrument it into an instrument of joy for someone else that is what we would like you all to think most deeply about because from this thinking will evolve a better you a stronger you a greater you a you who knows how to care for others you know at school agrani and happy tute two powerful initiatives of our school been running for many years now so successfully they are going to bring to you the drive of contributing things in your home whether they are food grains and food stuff whether it is clothes whether it's toys whether it's shoes you know you, you whether it is upholstery items bed sheets and uh, blankets and uh, sweaters because the winter is coming utensils still having lot of life in them all right so things like that go around your home consult your parents and your grandparents and see what can be respectfully given respectfully because it should be in fairly decent condition but of course we are also offering the opportunity not just of gara mutti dan but also of giving us stuff that you have in your home which can be refurbished reused in a new format by an ngo of the sledge hammer foundation all right and another uh, ngo that we are very proud to work with especially because it is connected to a parent of our school so we are going to be sharing all this information with you dipsides we would like you to read that circular along with your parents very very carefully and think about what contribution can you bring to the neki ki divar that we are putting up at school which is inviting your contributions so think about it think about how you can spread happiness and also think about how you can rise to greatness greatness like lord rama did like hanuman ji did like lakshman ji did like bharat so many figures are there in this entire uh, narration of ramayana who compel you to respect them for their devotion for their competence and skills 
for their organizational ability, for their ability to team up, for their ability to fight uh, for a value that is worth dying for, all right? And thereby creating a history of learning for people to build their own lives and value system on. So Dipsites, enjoy this festival to the health. Let the Diwali spirit soak right in, into your heart and, and make a place here inside your heart with your mind talking good things to you, encouraging you to think about how you can make this festival a festival of meaning for yourself and all those around you. And when you light the diyas in your home, do stop to think about all the blessings that brighten your life. The blessings of your home, your family, the blessings of good education, of good teachers, of friends, and of being citizens of a country like India. So gather all your blessings around you. Feel them, uphold them, celebrate them, and say a big thank you to Providence for all of them. And then your smile will be more genuine. You will move around your home and in the homes of your friends and relatives with a lighter foot and a happier heart. And that is what Diwali is all about. So with a thought for the birds, thought for the cattle, thought for the dogs, thought for those who are less privileged than us, and thought for the opportunity that Diwali presents to you of creating happiness. I will close my address to you and once again reinforce to you greetings of love and good blessings that come to you from our Provisi sir, Mr. Rohe Janendra Chen, our uh, chairperson of the school, Dr. Usha Lutra, and the vice chairman of our school, Sri VK Shumlu. I hope you have a Diwali to remember. Lots of blessings, lots of love.